Well, it's been several months, in fact, since last November, since the Beat Diggers played a home game. Of course, this is the opening game of the 2006 season, taking on the Fort Morgan Mustangs, and the Beat Diggers one year ago made it all the way to the Class 2A state quarterfinals, but injuries obviously devastated Brush before they lost to Ken Denver. And as we're speaking with head coach Randy Dreitz, coach, is there a lesson to be learned from that, that sometimes as good as you were last year going into the 2006 season, you've got to be lucky as well. That's for sure. Um, everybody knows that uh, getting to that final championship game and and even winning it, you got to have a little luck on your side. And and hopefully, uh, you know, it's just not injuries. It's Mother Nature helping you out sometimes. It's uh, I've, We've played in some tremendous windstorms that – can make a difference in a game and and injuries are huge uh, last year uh, I think was the worst year of all my years of coaching of having that many injuries and and as severe as a lot of them were uh, so it it was a it was a definite uh, wake up call for us after that loss to Ken Denver in the state quarterfinals you and I talked about the several very very positive performances from your juniors who are now seniors even though you wanted to win that game, was that loss maybe a blessing in disguise to get some of those players some playing time, especially in certain positions where they were out of position and maybe more familiar with those going into the 2006 season? Well, I don't know if we'd call it a blessing in disguise. I guess it could be uh, for this year. Uh, we'll wait and see and and uh, see from that uh, what you know if it, if it was, but. I think uh, you know is that a necessity, and they get they did get their playing time in a little bit at the end last year. But uh, this is a whole new year, and and with different uh, some different new faces, and so uh, you know we just got to pick up and uh, and take care of this year's team. And last year's team was a good team. We had a great senior class last year, and and we sure miss them. And and now we got to move on to the next senior class and try to make this season as best we can and as for them and and for the rest of the team and and we we do have a lot of experience on, with our seniors a lot of them got playing time last year which is always a positive for this year and We'll just wait and see how good we really are. Well, let's break down the 2006 edition of the Brush Bee Diggers. Let's start with the offense, Coach. You do have some returning players there. What do you feel are the strengths of the offense? And obviously, I know you want to run the football. Is the offensive line something that you feel good about right now, or is that going to take some time to gel? Well, I think I feel pretty good about it. Uh, we have three returners on the offensive line that played all year last year, and they should uh, – uh, you know, have they have all that experience and and uh, my expectations and I think their expectations is is up there and and uh, uh, I think that you know that that's a big part. We definitely need a running game and uh, one big thing this year we have a quarterback coming back that has a year of experience on the varsity level and uh, he's so far is doing a lot better than he did last year at, at throwing the football and. Uh, I think that uh, between our two days and, and practices so far, and scrimmages, I, I think he's doing a pretty good job and has a better feel for, the, you know, what we're trying to do and where he needs to throw it, when he needs to throw it. It's it's always better that second year, and and then our running backs, we both of them re- replaced them last year, but the two that we have are the, I guess it's actually more than two. We're, it's going to be uh, quite a few guys that you might see in there at. Uh, running back position, but uh, they've all had some experience, and, uh, you know, if we, we stay healthy, uh, I think we'll be okay. Coach, do you expect to settle in on a number one running back at any point of the season, or do you figure you can just shuffle in backs and keep them fresh, and maybe they'll all be effective, and maybe you won't have a true number one? Well, you know, you always have the the starter, the true, the your number one, but we're definitely going to have to shuffle some kids in at that position to to uh, give others a rest, and uh, a lot of them are playing on the other side of the ball too. So it, it's going to be one of those things that uh, we'll we'll see as this, as we play some games and see where we're at and and see who rises to the top. Uh, uh, I know that uh, you know right now as coaches we look at it. There's there's a lot of them pretty close and. And it's it's a battle, and uh, so we'll see. And uh, Aaron Quinlan's uh, been out a little while this last week because of, of a little bit of an injury. I kind of pulled his hamstring, so we held him out, so he wasn't able to scrimmage. But uh, this week he seems to be doing much better, and 
and he's uh, uh, really ready to go and, and for, against Fort Morgan. John Beltran with Brushhead football coach Randy Dreitz. Of course, championships are also won on defense in terms of replacing players and what you have coming back. Tell me about the defensive side of the ball, how you're feeling about things, and what has to improve in order for this team to be as good as you want them to be. Well, I, I really feel good about our defense. Uh, stopping the run, I think uh, we, we did a real good job in our scrimmage. And, uh, you know, the kids uh, have done a good job in that area. Our pass defense, uh, is it takes a little longer for the pass defense, but they're getting better. And, and a lot of it this year is just making sure we're lined up to the correctly to the uh, formation that the offense has given us. And I'm sure Fort Morgan will give us multiple different offensive sets that we'll have to line up to properly. And and that's half the battle with defense. If you can line up properly, and then uh, you'd be in a lot better shape. And uh, you know, it, we got a good nucleus of kids back on the defense from last year. You know, we got Aaron Quinlan and Nick Dreitz returning at linebackers, and and our defensive line. Uh, I think everybody on our defensive line, maybe one person uh, didn't get as much on the defensive line play last year as as the others, but the other three have all had plenty of uh, playing time and. Uh, you know, defensive back wise, all but one of them were were starters last year. So it, we've got lots of experience on the defense, and uh, that should definitely help us. Something happened in the first game last year against Fort Morgan that probably hasn't happened in several years before that, a field goal. Of course, there was an overtime field goal against Yuma a couple of seasons ago, Coach. Let's address the kicking game and the punting game and how you feel about that unit, how good they will be in 06. Well, <clears throat> we definitely are going to miss uh, our uh, kicker from last year. Uh, he did a great job for us, but unfortunately I think he's back in Sweden. And uh, he was a great kicker for us. It was a great surprise to have a uh, kid come in that was a foreign exchange student and kicked the ball for us. But this year we're, uh, we got a couple kids that are, uh, uh, up, you know, fighting for that position and uh right now i think rico portese will probably be our kicker to start the season uh he's he doesn't quite a kick it as deep on the kickoffs and and but you know as long as he's consistent on those extra points that's the big thing and he's been pretty consistent in practice and that's what we gotta that's what we gotta hope for from him Along with the players, the team, of course, is also comprised of the coaches as well. And I know there was a, a little bit of a change here in the off season. now going into the 2006 season, a rather significant change. Tell us about that. Uh, it's, it's a huge change for us. And uh, we lost Michael Christensen. He was our defensive coordinator, and he coached the linebackers and running backs for us. He did a tremendous job. He's a great, great guy, great coach that uh, we miss tremendously. And so, uh, but uh, fortunately, we were able to hire a coach with a little bit of experience and <laughs> in in, uh, in, in a little bit of experience knowing our offense and that type of thing. And Larry Mills, he uh, you know he's a long time a head coach of Brush here, and and uh, he come to me one day and he said he was feeling like he needed to get back into it and he'd like to be an assistant and. You know, I said, well, uh, being an assistant is different than being the head coach. You think you can take my orders? <laughs> so it, it was a, kind of a funny deal because I was his assistant for 12 years, and now uh, the foot's on the other on the other one, and, and now I'm the head and he's assistant. So, But so far everything's been working out great, and he's been great help and great addition to our staff. And, and this year Dick uh, Creighton is our defensive coordinator, and, and, you know, he's learning as he goes, and he's been doing a great job. And, and I, I tell you, one good thing about being here at Brush, being the head coach, I got great assistants uh, with a lot of knowledge, and they just pitch in and do – you know, I don't even have to tell them. They just pitch it and just do what needs to be done and, and coach the kids up really well, and, and uh, I feel really fortunate. A couple of final things, Coach. Why do I have the feeling that if you throw the football more than 10 times a game, that's almost going to be a shock considering that every interview I had with Larry Mills back in 98 and 99, he never wanted to throw the football. You've always said run first, run first, run first, even though, like you said, the passing game appears to be ahead this year where it was last year because of the experience of your quarterback. I would assume the philosophy has not changed at Brush High School, that passes will be extremely limited, especially with Coach Mills on staff. Well, it's funny you should say that because now that he's the assistant coach and doesn't get all the heat, he wants to throw the ball a lot more. And I, I kind of take a 
double take and look at him kind of strangely <laughs> and when he's when he's saying these things because I know how he was when he was the head coach it was run 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 and throw when you have to and and that's kind of how we've been in the past but we will I will still be calling the plays and he'll give me his input but uh we'll throw we're, we're going to have to throw the ball a little bit more this year I think but uh, we're definitely still going to run the football and and uh you know that's our main thing is to run the football and I think that uh Throwing the football has to be uh, <clears throat> there for us to keep them off balance, and I think we're going to have to throw a little bit more this year than what we have last couple years. Finally, in this matchup against Fort Morgan, your players know that you've won four matchups in a row against Fort Morgan, three of those by double digits, including a 23-point victory uh, last season in Fort Morgan. Mentally, do you have to get these kids to focus on this particular game and not worry about what's happened in the past, or do you feel that that's not a message that really has to be relayed, even though you do have that nice winning streak against Fort Morgan? Well, you know that you, know, you ever as a coach, you probably think of all the all those types of things, and and you know I'm definitely going to address it and and make sure that you know this is this year, it's not the last four years, and they're a different team and. And, you know, I don't think I'll have a problem with that, especially being the first game, being a uh, cross-down rival type deal. And the game really actually means nothing uh, for either school. It's just a it's a preseason game. It's like in the pros. It really means nothing as far as the playoffs are concerned other than, than a little pride. And I know our guys are really competitive. It means any time they step on the field, it means something to them. And, and uh, they're, they're, uh, they're ready to play somebody else. And, and uh, get get going with the season. I think uh, you know it gets old beating on your each other time and time again in practice. It's going to be nice to to see an opponent, and uh, it'll be a good measuring tool to see where we're at. Coach, I always appreciate the time. Best of luck against uh, Fort Morgan. Thank you very much. That's Brushhead football coach Randy Dreitz. We will take a break, and when we come back on Beat Digger Blast Off, I'll be joined live by Dave Urich from Beat Digger Stadium. We'll preview the opener of tonight's game between the Mustangs and Bead Diggers. You're listening to 1010 KSIR.